What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you know, in the first video I made today, which I think was the Bandai by Alante one, I said I was going to go on a video spree, and I did do it. I make, made a lot of videos, I hope you liked the videos I made, and the Evolution one. That one took some hard work, because I never knew how to really edit stuff, and that was kind of the first time I knew how to edit a video, really. So, um, make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that bell to never miss another video, and now let's just get straight into it. So, the, um, the figure we're gonna review today is the SH Monsters Godzilla 2019. Um, I don't want to take away the box and show it to you guys because it's going to get a tiny bit of a mess on my review station. So let's just check out the front. We have the Bandai right here. Tamashi Nations. and That's... I can't really say it, but I think it says Tamashi Nations as well. The 65th anniversary. 20... I mean, 1954 to 2019. Toho Legendary, a bunch of marble jumbo. Godzilla 2019. We have a glorious picture of it. And then we have Monsterverse. Godzilla King the Monster in this box right there. Um, SH Monster Art boxes you should probably um should not throw away in the trash because they're um they do make good um displays for your figure to put in front or on like top there where I keep my SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019. So though we're not here for the box, we're here for the figure. So here we go. I got Godzilla 2019 out. Um, I don't want to mess with this leg too much or this arm because I'm afraid this one might fall off again. The last time I did it, my review, I deleted that video because um, I wanted to make a remake. And this one, I mean, it won't really come off. Though if I do put a lot of pressure, it will. Though um, since we have him out, let's do articulation first. Um, so his um. His tail actually doesn't. It, mine's just stiff for some reason. It just kind of um swing more to the side on this side, but not really on this side for some reason. I'm afraid about this leg or something, cause last time I did it, it fell out. So that I can do that. We have knee joint or foot. That this is the knee joint. Same for the other leg. Don't want to do it though. Like I said, for the SH Monsters Godzilla 2014, um, you don't want to mess with the top part too much. And full 360. It can kind of bend down, I guess. Not really. Though its head can go really up. And it can, its jaw can open. It can look side to side, down and up. And his. The, the body joint right here can move as well and there's definitely more articulation that I did not discuss because I don't really want to mess with this guy that much as the 2014 one though so let's get into the details um he's mostly um mostly black and gray not really a lot of more colors like the 2014 but in the front right here you can't really see it uh, though it is a tiny bit sandy color like the 2014 but not really bunch of scales and a bunch of um, blackish grayish we have the spikes going up we have the scales right there and right here um, I think 2019 has like the same issue with the eyes though it's um it's mouth problem it doesn't it's not really um it, it's fixed on 2019 but its eyes are still a tiny bit problem because its eyes still can get sloppy um, on this, because I, I think my eyes got sloppy, but it, it's okay. And I got red in there, and the teeth are kind of good. They're a tiny bit red, like 2014, but overall I got a little fix from to the 2019. And it does have its... Oh my gosh, I need to go in the brightness. You can kind of see its chest bunch of scales and all and don't worry about that it's just that's just a super glue and it's um 
toes did extend because people thought the um, foot was too stubby like an elephant. So they made it extended. And I really like how they did it. I like it more than the 2014 ones. But it, I mean it's okay. But 2019 is a little more better. Um, so I got this guy for Christmas. Like the 2014 one. I believe he was more cheaper to get than 2014. I can't remember. I want to say it was around like a hundred dollars. I or below it definitely wasn't sixty dollars like the its original price. But I don't remember how much it was when I got it for Christmas. Um, uh, I think I got this guy a year after it came out in twenty nineteen. Like, I mean, it was the same year Christmas until Happy New Year's came out. Yes, Happy New Year. Um, yeah, I got it, like, during 2019, too. Maybe, like, I just got it. I mean, I got this guy at when the year before it could end to get to 2020. So I got this guy during 2019, the release of King of the Monsters. It would, it would almost have been 2020 if I didn't get it for Christmas or next year of Godzilla vs. Kong. I'm um, sadly NECA's not gonna make Godzilla vs. Kong figures, I'm really sad, but let's see what SH Monster has for us to wait for Godzilla vs. King Kong. Um, also I was, I think I was planning to get, um, the Atomic Blast version of Godzilla GMK, but since I forgot, um, it, like, the Godzilla vs. Kong movie comes out during, like, the summer, so does Jurassic World Dominion, because, um, or it's like this app or you can search it up and see what movies are coming and Jurassic World Dominant and um, Godzilla vs. Kong are like came, coming out during like the end of the school year during the summer time. So I wonder what um, SH is going to have, what, the, what they're going to do with them. If they're going to make them, they probably are, but I wonder what they'll look like. Because 2014 and 2019 don't really looks similar but they are the same thing so i'm wondering if the 2020 one would look way different i'm guessing it would look a, t a tiny bit more the same to 2019 instead of the 2014 but i don't know that's that's, that's my guess but maybe if i can bribe one of my parents to at least get like 200 250 300 maybe Depends how much money they have. I could probably get the um, Tom Breath GMK Godzilla. And maybe if, like, the 2014, 2019, when they first released, they were, like, $60. Maybe I can get them both. Because that would only cost around, like, maybe 120 150 I don't know. Because I am hoping to get both of them. Because GMK, for the first start, used my top favorite Godzilla. And I want to get a GMK. Um, Tony and the 2021 I uh, he's my the twenty legendary is my second favorite Godzilla but I still want to get it because it's probably gonna look cool I hope so um, though NECA won't be making any I wonder what it would look like if they didn't if their license didn't go down but we'll see what SH has in store for us but none of that talking let's get into the size comparisons okay so we're back this time we're going to start on the right side. So on the right side of the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019, we had the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2014. There he is. I, um, he was the last review I just did today, so go check that out. And on the left side of the Godzilla SH Monster Arts 2019, we have the NECA Godzilla 2019. So as you can see, I'm Godzilla 2019. Um, this time, SH Monster Arts 2019 is a little more screen accurate, but um, the NECA version um, has a more appearance of when Godzilla defeated King Ghidorah at the end, when he was like a lot more brown like and dirty. You can kind of see it on him, but they're both great figures. I very like them a lot. So in scale, I'd say the 2014 is a little taller when 2019 is supposed to be bigger, but it doesn't really matter. Um, 
For the 2019s, I really don't have a scale and stuff, but... Eh, they should be the same size. I don't know, but... Those are the size comparisons. Okay, guys, this is the end card for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to see my other reviews, and especially the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2014 review. Make sure to see my other videos I post, and um, make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that bell to never miss another video. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.